right, it's the scumbag Flanders coming at you with a five year bamboo update. So, I'm not, I can't remember which this one is called, but it's, uh, it's supposed to be red. It's supposed to turn red, I think. So, for the most part, this is how it's been for years, like three or four years. And it was a lot smaller, obviously, but then as it grew, these were the, as big as it got. So these other tall ones are new. Uh, this year, earlier this year, uh, you know, a couple of weeks or months ago, popped up. So what I want to show you, and this is probably why, is it as this pot has deteriorated in the weather I think this uh, bamboo has uh, put roots into the ground and it's getting nutrients that's why it's getting bigger so this is a warning to you everybody who's bamboo enthusiasts about running bamboo so look at this so this here is popped up and then this one is popped up there. And then look at that one back there. And what else? There's another one next to it and one back there. So as you can see, it has busted into the ground and gone all the way over here. So underneath the ground, there's no telling you know, what kind of roots and which direction it's going. It could be heading this way, who knows. Look at these two. So, gonna have to deal with that eventually. And my idea is to just like, just rip this out of the ground or cut it. And then in the cutting, put a bleach or some kind of poison into it and hopefully the circular system will draw it in and kill the whatever's underneath the ground but it's kind of a pipe dream but I hear it's really tough to get rid of so let's look over here so this is a clumping bamboo it's supposed to be a timber bamboo which is supposed to get huge and it kind of is, but it would be bigger, but the dam keep on having a freeze and it kills, kills it. So that's the, last year was taller than that. Then it died, but this one survived. So it's not really, you know, I mean, it got big. It is a clumper, so it's not supposed to spread around, but it's not really, you know, taken off and, being all fantastic but that's that's actually this is a division of the original plant I got I got another one that I cut it's in the front yard over there and that pile of wood used to be a nice tree well not really it was a sweet gum but got hit by lightning a few years ago and Recently, like a couple of weeks ago, the wind was strong enough to just knock it over. So as you can see, it almost took out the bamboo, but it hit the fence. And then you can see the corner of the shed there. Little damage, but I guess we're pretty lucky as far as all that goes. And so here we have The Narhi something. It's supposed to be a black bamboo. As you can see, it, this one turned black. For the most part, they're kind of green, but I guess it'll turn black later. But this one is kind of a runt, too. Um, this is as big as it's ever gotten. Um, but it keeps on throwing up, throwing up new shoots. And I guess it probably would do better if I would put it 
into new soil. And I, I do kind of want to divide it up and put it in new pots and stuff. But this is a runner too. So definitely don't want to put that in the ground. And, you know, it'll we'll probably go that way to the neighbors. Yeah, what else? So over here, I have an, a couple of more divisions. This, I do not remember which one it is. I think it might be that red, that red baby. But um, it's funny because I did a cutting in here. I don't know if the skeletal remains are still there, but it died. I left it alone and then some sprout over here kind of popped up. Oh, look, here's a new one. There's a new shoot. And then split off this way. And these are new. And what else? So this is also that timber bamboo a division I made. And it died. It got like this big and then it died. And then so this is like the third season, I guess, that you know, this is kind of this is what I get. I'm gonna put it in the ground as well to see if it'll grow. I'm gonna put it in front of that window over there, you know, kind of over here to see if it will give some shade to the house. Because in the summer, that's where the sun beats down right there. Uh, and that's about it. Here's my beam, or uh, what do you call it? My bonsai. Which is growing really weird it's just going that way instead of being big and poofy but I guess I should cut it but this is all kind of new because it was dead from this half on out uh, so this is all new so I kind of don't want to you know screw with it you know if it ain't broken don't fix it and these if you're ever curious if you buy the chive onions at the grocery store and you just cut the green part and leave the little bulb with the uh, roots or plant the roots because look these are like two years old so we're here in Texas and they're uh, pretty you know as cold as we get they survive the winter and here's another set but look they're budding, and if the bees come, maybe they'll pollinate. I don't know what else. These are them as well. I suppose it has some leaks around here somewhere. But uh, that's pretty much it for the Scumbag Flanders Gardens. There's some rosemary. And I have one more. bamboo right there and that's a clipping from the original and that's as big as it's ever gotten it's been there for two three years and I guess because you know I got all these trees blocking the sunlight so it's as best it's gonna do but who knows one day it'll just take off maybe but that's it that's your bamboo update warning again don't let the runners get in the ground because they go go everywhere i don't have any new shoots here all right scumbag flanders out